You know, apart from one or two uh, reviews on YouTube, uh, I haven't really seen a lot of people in the U.S. or in North America talking about uh, kind of foreign, cool-looking helmets. Uh, there are reviews of uh, roof helmets out there and, and other ones, uh, but... Uh, this one particular helmet um, kind of caught my eye and I wanted to check it out it was fairly inexpensive on eBay and it's this India based company that makes them and it's called Steelbird uh, helmets and I got my hands on one of these Steelbird air helmets and I wanted to briefly talk about my initial impressions of this helmet so I'm a big fan of unique looking helmets um, funky looking helmets uh, I tend to think that a lot of uh, popular or uh, ubiquitous helmets in the US tend to be on the boring side visually uh, they just kind of slap a lot of crazy graffiti graphics on them or crazy busy graphics on them and and just kind of sell them to, to us. And you have these uh, very, very popular manufacturers and yeah, the helmets are three, four hundred dollars, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, they're safe, sure, but you're, uh, but at one point uh, after you've surpassed two hundred dollars, is it that much safer? than uh, your, you know, uh, LS2 or a built helmet. That aside, we are seriously lacking in kind of cool, interesting looking helmets. And that's why um, this Steelbird helmet caught my eye. Because look at it. Look how cool it is. Badass looking. Um, badass looking helmet. Unfortunately, that's about where the coolness or the pros kind of, that's kind of where they end with this. It's cheap for a reason. I think at low speeds, wherever they ride in Asia with these, I don't know how fast they go, it may be just fine. But... And if you're in the city and you're riding scooters at lower speeds, you'll be just fine. But just in general, the whole thing kind of feels cheap. The plastic, the plastic doesn't quite feel premium enough that it, it just doesn't feel like it. The only thing I could say that it reminds me of is toy helmets it just I just don't know I just don't know how to say it it's just the quality of this plastic just feels cheap I'm a medium it fits me just fine I bought they, they come in two sizes um, I have not ridden with it just yet so I can't really tell you if it's if it's gonna be loud or or what but uh, it fits me just fine. I, I believe I bought the, the medium. But there are just things about this that don't, that just feel cheap. For example, um, the emblem on the back is usually printed on, silk screened on, something like that, engraved, whatever. This is vinyl. I can literally pick this off. I'll do it right now to demonstrate. Comes off. It's trash. Um, it does come with two visors. You can replace them on the go. Comes with this cool iridium kind of looking thing that makes you look like you're in uh, in space. Uh, well, I guess let's let's put it on. It it does go on really easy. And I'll give them this. It's very light. It's like I said, it's quite small, so you're you're very close to this 
front piece, which is not gonna, um, which is not gonna help you in a crash. It's very thin and small and probably not rated for anything. And speaking of ratings, uh, I don't believe this is rated by any known agency or any reputable agency. Perhaps it's rated for safety in India where it comes from, but uh, overall, you can see on the back, it's ISI or something like that. Uh, and it says it's for two-wheeler helmet. Again, I can't, other than kind of like a, a novelty helmet, I can't really recommend it. I don't, I wouldn't feel safe with it, on a, at least on a longer ride. You know, if you're going slow speeds in the neighborhoods or running an air somewhere nearby, um, it, it, I'm sure it'll be fine. Highway speeds, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it, it just, it just does not look like it would. I mean, it's so thin. It's, it's comically thin. It looks like it's made for cosplay, to be honest. Um, let's talk a little bit about the features. There's no, uh, there's no vent in the front anywhere except at the top right here and you can open that and close it there are rear facing mesh metal mesh vents that release air and that's about it and you can pop open this visor um, like so and ride like that maybe put glasses on and that's about it uh, it's very thin very cheap the liner in there looks actually kind of nice and uh, there are surprisingly apparently holes for speakers so if you were to buy one for whatever reason other than reviewing it in America uh, you could put speakers in there as well but other than that I I can you know I, I did it so you don't have to wouldn't recommend it will I ride with it Probably just to look kind of cool for a minute. Will I go far? Uh, no. Perhaps there are reviewers out there that have rated this helmet uh, higher. Can comment below and tell me why. But if you were to compare this to any any reputable helmet out there, even the cheap ones, like Triangle, for example, feel like they're better built than this. Um, so yeah, um, do it at your own peril. And hey, if you like these kinds of reviews from me, kind of honest reviews, I, I buy these items myself. Um, if you like this, do me a favor, just comment, subscribe, like, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff so that I can continue doing this. I do it for fun. Uh, I obviously don't make any money off of this. Uh, as my views show. So do me a favor and click su subscribe wherever the button is right around me somewhere. It's just, oh, and click on the other videos that I have. They're just as fun and informative as this one was.